All right, so you want to know how to use Foundation and Halo Reach's mod tools? Well, fear not. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the first step is actually opening Foundation. Go to the EXE for it. In my case, I made a shortcut here, as you can see. Or if you did not do that, just double click on the Foundation.exe here. For me, I have the shortcut. I'm going to double click on that. You'll see this logo pop up. You may see this thing uh, pop up. Switch current project. Your current project is set to unknown and Foundation version 1.0 is being run on Omaha. Go ahead and press I don't mind. Um, that's what I did last time and it works just fine and here we are this is foundation and may not look like much but there's actually a lot of stuff you can do so first off if we take a look on here the left side we have a ton of stuff we got ai camera cinematics a crap ton of stuff here in this tag editor area so the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to go into objects and we're going to find our characters. So here's the characters. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff in here that we can mess with. From ambient life all the way down to Spartan AI. And uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to go into here and mess with a lot of this stuff. So for example, if we want to mess with a Marine, well, we can just press on this Marine drop down menu. And before we actually do anything with messing with them, you want to go ahead and open the HREK folder here. Go into tags, objects, and in here, you want to go to characters. And in our case, we're going to mess with the Marine. So we're going to go open the Marine here. So what you want to do is hold control and left click on the model file and the biped file, press control C and then control V. And you'll see it'll make a copy of this file. So you can see we have copy biped and copy model. Next thing that you want to do, go into AI, find the trooper character holding control, press C and press V. Um, so that's control C, control V, and boom, you'll have a copy of the trooper character and the marine copy of biped and model. So what you want to go ahead and do is double click on the model, wait, wait for that to open, and double click on the model here, biped and model, sorry about that. And then go into the AI folder and open up that trooper character. So you'll see that it'll actually load up a variant of the character. So you can see we got trooper light and we got a ton of different variants that we can actually mess with here within Gorilla. So the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to go into the biped and just check out everything in here. So there's a ton of stuff that you can mess with from flags on the group objects to changing the model here, which this is the first thing that we're actually going to change. So you will see it says model object slash characters slash marine slash marine dot model. We actually want to press the three dots button here and it'll open up this dialog here. Press on marine dash copy dot model. Press open and you'll see that it'll change. And then in the top left here, you'll see an asterisk or a star next to that you want to press Control s and boom you'll see that'll disappear and that's actually save the changes to that file which you can actually see right here there it is right there that's the biped and uh, that's the changes that we made we made that change where it's now using a different model so now if we keep scrolling there's some different stuff you can mess with in here from stripes and jump and stuff like that you can see just a ton of stuff that you can mess with in here so you'll actually see that there is some colors that you can change. So I believe these are the camos or they are the faces. I'm not entirely sure what this are or these are, but this is definitely the camo that you can change for them. So this is the camos, the different camos they can spawn with. So for example, if we go to this permutation, we press on this and we're going to make it bright green and bright yellow. For secondary for primary we're just going to leave primary as this one we're going to press one tertiary we're going to do the same thing here we're going to go bright green and bright green we're going to change this weight to one so basically when we're changing the weight to one what that is essentially doing is it's making so that this permutation is actually used for this marine if you leave it zero and you have all these different permutations in here as you can see, these are the change color permutations. If you leave all of these zero, it'll just randomly pick through these colors. But if you change the weight to one, it'll always use that color. So if we go up to here and we press on model, we can go and open this. And this is, by the way, just a model preview, essentially of what your character is going to look like um, in terms of this character model variant. So we have different variants we can open ODST light. ODST jetpack and all that stuff will change itself for you to uh, to kind of just check out there. So yeah, next up that we're going to do is we're going to go into the model file and we're just going to kind of check out everything in here. So this is where the permutation stuff is. So we can actually change exactly what this trooper light variant is going to 
essentially where. Now you can make your own variants. In my case, if you do want to do that, we're going to duplicate the Trooper Light. And then it, it might scroll down like that. And then you'll see that Trooper Light is now on the bottom and it's number 15. Let's change this to Trooper underscore Custom. So now you'll see that if you press on this dialog, we have Trooper underscore Custom instead of Trooper underscore Light. So now we can go through all of these different variants here and you'll see it will open up some new stuff for you like states blurred hella blurred <laughs> that's pretty funny um unshielded and battery depleted so you can change all of this kind of stuff so we're just going to start with body and you'll see that'll be default probability we're going to change that to one for the permutations so that the body obviously is spawned in trooper and now we can change the helmet so let's uh let's go with medic because that's the easiest one that you can actually see that was changed so we got the Trooper Medic Helmet. It's got a probability of one of spawning. So if we scroll up all the way to Trooper Light, you'll see that none of these have a probability of one besides the Trooper Medic. That is because we changed probability to one for the head helmet. Now if we go to legs, we have Trooper Light and default. So there's a 0.5 chance of this spawning and a 0.5 chance of the default. We're not going to mess with legs. We're just going to leave that for now. Let's go to helmet. And you can see that we have two different helmet variants. We got the light helmet variant and the trooper commander variant. We're going to go to light and we're going to press one. So there's a destroyed variant for this as well. There's different states for it. Default, minor damage, medium damage, major damage, and da uh, destroyed. I haven't actually been able to figure out how you mess with that kind of stuff. So we're not going to mess with the states right now. We're just going to focus on the permutations, regions, and variants. Next up, we're going to go to the flare helmet underscore B. Now, basically what this is, is it's the flare of the helmet B. So if you scroll up here, we can see where is it at here? Helmet B. There it is. Helmet B. You can see that this is actually changing as we press through this. As you can see, some of this stuff is going to be changed on the helmet part there. From heavy all the way down to default, so there's nothing on there. But we're going to go with medic. So we're going to kind of create our own custom medic trooper. So flare helmet B... Well, let's scroll back up and it's going to be trooper underscore medic for helmet B. What we want to go ahead and do is you'll see that it's not actually available in this region's permutations. That is because the trooper light doesn't have this available within that. So what we have to do actually is create a new permutation. First of all, we're going to change the probability to zero for all of these default helmets here. All zero. And we're going to actually press an add button here. So now you will see that we have a third number three option out of four. We're going to go to the permutation name and we're going to scroll back up and you're going to see that the flare underscore helmet underscore B is named trooper underscore medic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to here, type in trooper underscore medic, and that will be a permutation. Change that probability to one. And now that flare helmet B with the medic variant right there that is going to have a probability of one, as in it's always going to be there for his helmet. Now let's scroll ahead and go to neck. So there's two different variants here. I don't really want to mess with neck, so we're just going to skip neck. We can go to the shoulders here. Now if we want to go back up to here to the model preview, we can actually check what these shoulders are going to be looking like. So if we want, we can go ODST light if we want them to have ODST arms, which would look a little bit funky on here. Um... Let's go with, uh, let's go as Trooper Light for left and right shoulder. So as you can see, the the shoulders, well, actually, you know, we'll go default. No, we'll do, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll do Trooper Light for both left and right. So we're going to scroll down, and you're going to see Trooper Light is the only variant here for flare sol shoulder left. We're going to change that probability to one. And same with right. Now if we go to belt, there's going to be different stuff that we can change for the belt. Now let's look for the belt here. There's the belt. As you can see, the belt is changing. We're going to go ahead and go with, uh, we'll go Trooper Heavy. So we're going to scroll down. You'll see the flare belt, and it does not have a Trooper Heavy. We're going to scroll down. We're going to press Add, and we're going to do under Trooper underscore Heavy. And now we're going to change that probability to 1. So now that belt, Trooper Heavy, is always going to be spawning with that uh, that variant there. Now if we go to Chest A, we can actually change the, the chest plate here. For that so this is all different so you got odst light space marine trooper heavy and trooper light we're going to leave it as trooper light so we're going to change this to one and we're going to go to chest b and we're going to want to leave this as trooper light as well there as well thigh left 
as you can see, there's a 0.5 probability of this thigh piece spawning. So let's scroll up, and we see the thigh left is going to change. Let's go for Trooper Heavy. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to press the Add button, and type in Trooper underscore Heavy, and then we're going to change the probability to 1. So now, that is a 1% chance, or a... a, a a infinite percent chance that it'll spawn. As long as you change these other permutations to zero, that trooper heavy thigh piece will always spawn. Next, we're gonna go to the thigh right, and I wanna leave it as trooper light. So we're gonna change that to one, so that always spawns, and backpack. Now, if we actually move our character model here, we can take a peek at what the backpack is actually gonna look like on our trooper. So we got radio, officer, default, jetpack, light, space marine, and you'll notice a lot of these actually don't change much. So we're going to go with Trooper Heavy for the backpack. So you'll see Trooper Light and Default are the only ones available. Once again, we're going to zero these out. And we're going to go to Default, Add, type in Trooper underscore Heavy. And we're going to change the probability to 1 for that Trooper in the backpack. Now, decals, this is where a lot of stuff that you can be able to change and make this an actual medic. So if we press on Trooper Medic, you'll see that some decals are actually spawned on his shoulder there. If we go from radio to medic, you'll see a medic logo is spawned on this character in different locations on the character. As you can see on the thigh piece there, if we go to radio, it's actually gone, but if we press on medic, it is there. So we're going to change the decals to trooper underscore medic, and you'll see trooper light and trooper commander are the only ones that are available. We're going to null these out, press zero there, or change that to zero, add a new one, trooper underscore medic and we're going to change the probability of this to one now this trooper is completely changed within foundation that is the basics of changing the model variants of for example in our case it's a marine in your case you might be messing with a um, grunt or whatever it's the same uh, way of creating that essentially so now we're going to move on to the character tag of this. As you can see, we have a unit, marine.biped, press the three dots, and we're going to change that to the copy biped. So you have to do this with each one and just essentially make sure that these are all using each other to build off of each other to uh, essentially work together to create this character. So we're going to go to the character file, and now this is basically the character file is for your voices. It's essentially the heart of the AI. So this will change what the AI can do and what he does. We can change his rank. You can not allow him to drop equipment. You can disallow crouch. You can have critical betrayals. You can disallow him from enabling to be able to pick up an energy sword. Whatever this is, you can make it so he cannot pick it up. If you want to be able to have him be able to pick that stuff up, just press delete. But we're going to have to do some animation swapping. And we're not going to do that in this episode because animation swapping is a very interesting place to go. And it's a very scary place as well. So there's not really much we're going to do with uh, the character tag. Besides, we're going to add a climb, a perch. In, this is in the movement properties, by the way. And we're going to do keep moving. So he'll be able to be always be moving. He prefers to be combat in near a friend. So, the, so friends essentially would be if you have a squad of marines, he'll prefer to fight with those marines um essentially just having him fight with his marines so you'll see some other places that we can go to we can go to placement we can go to perception we can go to target and we can go to look all that stuff we're just going to leave for now and we're going to keep scrolling there's some different stuff that you can change inertia settings throttle settings there's just a ton of stuff in here that you can change we're not going to really change much in here for right now due to the fact that we just we kind of want to just make this a basic AI. But however, I see an engage uh, properties. I want to have him fight with constant movement. So he's always going to be moving. We're going to disable fight stable. So he's almost always going to be moving. So we're going to keep scrolling and you can see charge properties. So there is a way where they'll charge and you can disable berserking as well. Evasion. So that's him leaving or running from you cover properties there's just tons of stuff that you can mess with in here folks and i mean a lot like in this video we're not going to get into everything changing everything because we just want to basically just do the basics of getting this guy to work in in uh in sapien and be able to actually spawn him so we can change his voices as well there's also weights for these 
So you can change the dialogue. So if we put one for Trooper One, he's almost always going to use Trooper One's property of uh, of basically speaking. So uh, yeah, that's that's going to be pretty interesting to see. We can enable dual wielding, um, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do any of this kind of stuff because we don't really want him to be resurrected or anything like that. You can auto resurrect. Um, so if we enable that, when you kill him, he'll actually just get back up. So we're going to actually enable that for this custom character so that we can actually see that this is actually working. So guys, that is the basics of foundation. Um, I know we only went into the AI of Marines. You can literally do it with any of these other ones that you want to. But for today's video, I just wanted to get into the basics of it and just show you the basics of character editing since I'm assuming that's mostly what you guys are going to be doing. Creating your own Marines, creating your own Spartans, enemies, literally anything you want to create, you can do it within Foundation. That's the beauty of Halo Reach Mod Tools. And uh, next episode, we're going to get into spawning AI in sapien and that's going to be a lot of fun i'm pretty excited to spawn in some ai in sapien and that's going to be the next episode and we'll also maybe even mess with bipeds next episode before we spawn in ai as well so that is it for me i hope you guys did enjoy of course if you found the video helpful please drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button that really helps me out and uh also press that uh, bell icon if you want to be notified whenever i upload a brand new halo reach modules tutorial video Anyways, guys, my name is Ice Advice, and I am signing out. Thanks so much for the support recently, and uh, peace out.